Oh, thank God. Explosive matter wins the Colonial easily. Underway. Starting fast outside here is Brent Messenger to the early. Five and four and a half time. Just over three to go. That's the top of the track. Hi, everybody, and welcome to PA Harness Week. This is the place where you get your weekly harness fix. And I don't care how hungry you are today, we will satisfy your harness, Jones. Will we not, darling? Absolutely, and I'm starved. <laughs> starved for harness racing action. Along with Heather Moffat, I'm Steve Ross here for another exciting adventure of PA Harness Week right here at Harris Chester. Saturday, of course, was the Hamiltonian, and our gal, Heather, was there for the big day. What went on there? Was it a great day for you or what? Oh, yeah, absolutely. First of all, I go every single year. I buy a new dress, shoes, get my hair done. It's kind of like the Oscars of harness racing, I guess. Everybody gets really dolled up, wears their hats. Is the red carpet going and, on, uh, too? No red carpet. No Joan Rivers? <laughs> no Joan Rivers, thank goodness. <laughs> but um, if you have not been to the Hamiltonian, you know, like, mark your calendar already for the first Saturday, I believe it is, in August, and get out there. As a matter of fact, you're really not missing out on too much because we kind of have like a sort of Hamiltonian coming up, right? That's right. That's I mean, it's right. a huge, huge live oh. event, yeah. Battle of the Brandywine. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Anyway, August 22nd, everybody really should come out to Harris Chester. Super Steak Sunday. Super Steak Sunday, yeah. I'm sorry, I got off track. Back to the Hamiltonian. Off track? Yeah. Is that a play on or C words? <laughs> Pun not intended, actually. All right, let's talk about the Hamiltonian. $1.5 million on the line. Lucky Chucky with John Campbell was the chalk at 3-2. to two. Cassis and Tim Tietrich, the other limb winner, was the 5-2 to two second choice. And Holiday Road was stuck at Yenemsville in the 10 hole. That's why he went off at 5-1. to one. And with a call, the 2010 Hamiltonian, here's Ken Workington. And they're off. It's Muscle Massive out fast with Mystery Photo on the inside. Hard Levin showing speed. And Cassis now starts to gun out there. Tim Tietrich makes speed with Cassis, who goes right to the top. Hard living left out there to challenge his muscle mass of tucks in. Lucky Chucky got away fourth. Mystery photos parked out fifth. It's Pilgrim Taj on the inside sixth. Then it's Holiday Road, followed by Wishing Stone at the back with uh, on the tab on the rail and Temple of Doom is the trailer. Cassis went a quarter of 27 and one. Tetrix got a good tight brain of Cassis looking to raid him down the back stretch. Had him fired up early with that early speed. Muscle Massive and Pierce, a perfect pocket ride right now. Hard Levin is third, and Lucky Chucky is a loose fourth right now down the back stretch. Parked out his mystery photo. Tough trip for him. He'll look to flush somebody out. Pilgrim's Taj is pinned in on the rail nearing the half. Holiday Road to the outside, hoping the cover flow develops. Then on the tab on the inside, Wishing Stone and Temple of Doom. The half was 54 and 3, 27 2. Second quarter speed by Cassis. Cassis leads the Hamiltonian field around the far turn. Muscle mass of perfect trip. Here comes Lucky Chucky, launched by Campbell. Third on the outside and gaining momentum now. Hard living is fourth on the inside. Mystery photo is alongside a locked in Pilgrim's Taj. Wishing Stone is gearing up from the back of the pack. Three wide right now, and he's got good momentum. As they pass three quarters, it's Cassis. Lucky Chucky on the outside, taking it to him and taking over. 122 and two in the stretch of the Hamiltonian. Lucky Chucky takes the lead, but here comes Muscle Massive on the outside. Lucky Chucky, Muscle Massive, Pierce on the outside, Campbell and Pierce together. Lucky Chucky, Muscle Massive on the outside, Wishing Stone third, Muscle Massive, and it's a massive win for Ron Pierce. Well, Cassis did all the work on the front end, and he went three quarters of 122 and two. I think he thought he was a pacer. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Sitting behind him in the two hole was Ron Pierce on Muscle Massive. Well, Lucky Chucky the Chalk comes roaring up after that three quarters. And as Trevor Denman said, the track announcer at Santa Anita, he was moving like a winner. But hold your horses. It was not to be. Here comes Pierce on the right line. He comes out with Muscle Massive, goes down the lane, gets the lion's share of the money, and wins the Hamiltonian. And it was a great race. Muscle Massive. This was my phrase for the day. Yes. Muscle Massive kick their wine glasses. Okay. Yeah, clever, I know. <laughs> nice. And more importantly, for the betters, he paid 15 bucks. That's real cash. Our roving reporter, Jen Sherlock, caught up with winning driver Ron Pierce and his thoughts about the Hamiltonian drive. 
I'm with driver Ron Pierce, who won one of the most prestigious races of the year, the Hamiltonian. Ron, congratulations. Thanks. How does it feel to win the Hambo? Oh, it's a great feeling. It's the one everybody wants to win. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, win it for the third time. I, uh, we had a, I had a very nice, well-bred colt. Uh, we just kind of aimed him towards the race, and uh, the tactor, Jim, uh, the trainer Jimmy Tactor, he had him razor sharp that day, uh, Saturday, and uh, the trip worked out really well, and uh, the colt won fairly easy. Take us through the race. I had the six hole. Uh, the horse to beat had the two. The horses to beat had the two, three, four, and. Uh, I left on out of there. I, I knew my horse had plenty of gate speed and fell in the two hole behind the one horse that Timmy was driving. And he took us uh, around there, nice, comfortable fractions. Uh, we were moving right along. The most powerful cold in the race, uh, uh, the horse of Chucky's, um, he uh, came storming up along the outside of us and went right on by, turning for home. So I was able to get out of the two hole and on his back, and I followed him for about a sixteenth of a mile. My colt was right there, right there, right up on the rigging, and uh, he, um, I just tipped him off of uh, that, that big colt's back, and um, my colt trotted right by him. It was great. It's awesome. And what's it like to drive a horse like Muscle Massive? Oh, you know, to be able to drive the top horses uh, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. It makes all the cheap horses that we drive all year worthwhile. Well, congratulations to you. Thank, Thank you for being with us. Thanks. Coming up later in the show, we'll speak with Tim Tietrich, who had a lot to say about the Hamiltonian Oaks. Back to you, Heather and Steve. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Ron Pierce. Do you think he's happy? I think he is. Yes, I think so. I think he's very happy. Okay, now let's go back up to Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs. Race 13 on Tuesday was a big open trot, and with all the 4-1-1 on that, here's my partner, Heather. Thank you. And here we have Dennis. That's just his name, just Dennis. Not the menace, just Dennis. Just Dennis. He's the better choice. He's been second in this class his past two starts. T.J. Clark, the richest in the field so far this year, and then there's Shibboleth Hanover. And what? Shibboleth Hanover? I understand. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> he has the driving services of David Ingraham. And they're off. Ivanhoe Blue Chip fast off the mark. P.J. Clark flashes speed. There's Bad Boy Paparazzi up close to, and he'll be carried three wide into the first turn now. Ivanhoe Blue Chip takes off the pace a bit, and P.J. Clark will assume the top position. It's P.J. Clark by a length and a half as they round the first turn. Bad Boy Paparazzi pockets up. Ivanhoe Blue Chip's a length and a half back in third. Springboard is fourth by a length and three quarters. Then comes Shibboleth Hanover. Dennis, the favorite, is eight lengths off the lead, trotting in the sixth position, followed by Big Pepper. Your next came away second last. And the trailer has chosen Voyageur, 13 off the lead through a 27 and 4 first quarter. PJ Clark leads them past us the first time. Springboard's up alongside, and Springboard takes charge, moving into the clubhouse turn. But PJ Clark is going to make him work to clear. So Springboard leads by just a half length. PJ Clark is pushing through up the inside. Those gold blinkers back in front, and they battle past a 55 and 4 half mile. From that front pair, it's two and a half lengths to bad boy Paparazzi, the whip over his back in third. Dennis floated second over. He's four off the lead at the three-eighths pole. Ivanhoe Blue Chip has four and a half to make up, and he's guided to the outside. Shibboleth Hanover is saving ground, moving for the far turn. From the front sex, Ted, it's a gap of three and a half to a ground-saving chosen voyageur who has overtaken both your next and Big Pepper. Three quarters in 124 flat, and P.J. Clark is opened up by two and a half. Dennis is carried wide of Bad Boy Paparazzi. These two a joint second. Ivanhoe Blue Chip is called upon for everything he has, and he's got five and a half to make up at the eighth pole. And it's P.J. Clark, still two and a half clear. So P.J. Clark establishes a new track record for four-year-old Stallion Trotters, driven by Jimmy Merle Jr. He crosses the finish line in 153 flat. Very impressive. Now, he had a little fight there at the half, but anyway, he ends up winning the race in over two lengths. And that was uh, over Shibboleth. Over who? Shibboleth Hanover. Oh, I see. Um, third was Bad Boy Paparazzi. Are you sure? <laughs> sure? Stay with us when we come back. We are going to have more action from Harris Chester. We're going to go back to Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs for the Stallion Series. Sounds like a series that Muscle Massive would like to be in, doesn't it? Don't go away.